my friends, I'm here to tell you that God says it's time to build a boat. Well, that may not be an actual boat, but figuratively speaking, what has God called you to be obedient in doing? I'm Charlotte Barton, and welcome to Listen Up, God Speaks, a podcast to help you live life victoriously. And in this episode, we'll discuss an interesting portion of scripture that will inspire and encourage you to move forward in obeying God in whatever area that may be. So in Genesis chapter 5, we find the story of Noah. And for sake of time, you can read chapter 5 on your own. And in this portion of, of the book of Genesis, we see that Noah acted in obedience as to what God told him to do, build an ark. Regardless of all the opposition he faced, the ridicule and the, the mocking that he endured, he had set his mind to obey God no matter what. And I predict that he had people say something like, you know, you're, you're wasting your time on that. You know, they probably told him that he was crazy and had lost a few marbles. You know, since at that point, it had never rained on the earth before. And the earth was watered from moisture coming up from the ground, which I do find fascinating. So the people at that time probably couldn't comprehend the reality of rain falling from the sky. So Noah must have endured fatigue, you know, as, as he worked hard on the ark. And after all, a boat the size of one and a half football fields in length was a pretty big boat and would take a lot of sweat and pain and an exhaustion and endurance to complete. But Noah kept his focus on what he knew in his heart was what God had told him to do. He was determined to not let people, circumstances, distractions, or even his age hinder him from obeying God's instructions. Noah knew that calling, that the calling that he had, that God had on his life, you know, to build something that would provide safety for him and his family through the flood and rough conditions, you know, that, that they were about to experience. And he tried to warn others around him of what was going to happen, but they did not listen. Still, he obeyed God to fulfill what was given to him to do. That which God had told you to do, placed in your heart, as a passion and, and destined you to do from your mother's womb, do not let the enemy stop you. You have a purpose to fulfill. You have a destiny that was given to you before you were even born. And you have goals and passions that God has placed within you to achieve for his glory. Pay no attention to the negative words that you're you may hear from others regarding it, they may not understand the fullness of what God has called you to do. They may not be supportive or even scoff about it. Don't be discouraged. You are to be obedient to God, not to them. So move forward one step at a time in obedience to God. Fulfill that passion. Fulfill that destiny calling. No matter what obstacles you may face, keep putting one foot in front of the other. Don't look to the right or to the left. Stay focused. By the grace of God, you will persevere and break through those obstacles. Beauty will bloom forth as you experience breakthrough and fulfill God's will in your life. Just obey God no matter what. Go forth in what God has called you to be obedient in. 
It's time to build a boat. Well, that concludes this episode. For more resources and encouragement, visit my website at www.victorybattleplan.com. That's www.victorybattleplan.com. If you feel that you would like someone to help you walk out your journey to victory and breakthrough in either your health or spiritual life, I offer one-on-one and group online coaching options. So connect with me through messaging or email and we'll discuss how my programs can benefit you. Until the next episode, I pray multiplied blessings upon you. And remember, by faith, all is well in Jesus' mighty name. You are the air I breathe. You are the strength I need. Lord, you are wonderful.